Good morning. Good morning. You look like you just got done, I don't know, heading up a PE class. I don't know. I'm Were you just, heading up a PE class? I'm in a short sleeve hoodie and hat kind of <laughs> day, come on. <laughs> Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time Joe teaches a PE class, you'll be alerted to it. I'm just in one of those moves today. We are not centered. Move over. There we go. Doop. I think we're centered now. So yeah, I don't know. We've been up for a while. We had to take Anthony to get his car fixed. I don't understand the ridiculously long lines for dropping off your car. It's, it's almost like there's Christmas presents to be had on the other end of the service. No, we're just giving them a whole bunch of money, right? Yeah, but it's just weird, right? Because there's just long lines for service. Is December a time when most people are like, you know what, I'm getting the car fixed? Yeah, because he did try to take his car to get repaired, was it last week or the week before? That was another day where you had to get up and go do yeah. mom duty. And he got up there and they're like, nope, sorry, no appointment, we're not fixing it. What do you do when your car breaks, breaks down? down? Like, I don't know about y'all, but I kind of do service, like basic things like oil changes and stuff I can handle. But most of the time when I'm going to go get my car serviced at the dealer, because they're ridiculously expensive. The car is like, I need it right this it's second. It's when the car needs to be fixed. So what are you, are you supposed to be like, hey, car. I know you're having major issues with the wheel bearings, but you're going to have to wait three weeks to yeah. present this problem because that's the earliest appointment I can get to get you repaired. Seriously. Right? It's it's like, don't, I don't know. conk out. Right. I mean, you would never want it to conk out. So it is Monday morning. We got to do Keto on the Couch live in a little while. I'm excited about it because it's a really good one. And then tonight we have. Is it day five? We're up to day five already, I day think. Day five. Of the uh, 12 days of keto. I don't know if it's day five or day six. I don't know. I'm losing count already, and we're only a few days into this one. Well, in the middle of that, between the live in book. Yeah, you're um, all dressed up kids, today. Yes, I'm excited. So I get to go out to lunch with one of our subscribers, Roshana, that we met when we were in Las Vegas and realized that we were basically neighbors. She yeah. lives about 20, 30 minutes away from us. Yeah, we also have another one coming up soon. We just got to coordinate our schedules yeah. with Anthony. I'm Having excited a little about lunch. that one. Yeah, so uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for food today because you're going out to eat already. Yeah. I keep saying we're going to make jambalaya, but jambalaya. then I get presented with like a bunch of errands and chores. My goal is to finish. I got to do a little bit of light sanding on the walls in there. I want to get that whole front room painted because Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. And people coming. are coming to our house. Whether we're ready or so not. So I need to get that finished. But we are going away to Universal Studios tomorrow. Uh, to We're going to go hang out with Jean-Paul Michel. I'm really excited about Me that. Me too. And then on Wednesday morning, we're going to go watch our grand puppy, as Rachel likes to call her, go dock diving. She's in a, a competition. And of course, she's a winner before we even get there. I got an interesting request from John Paul last night. He texts me. He's like, are you going to smoke any meat tomorrow? And I'm like, I pretty much smoke meat or run the barbecue every single day. Yeah. And he's like, I need a favor. Because they're already up there. They went to Bucky's on Sunday morning. Did he love it? And he, he messages me and he's like, what should I get here? I'm like, their brisket, really good. Yeah. And also their beef jerky. And I know their beef jerky does have a little bit of sugar in it, but... When we, Bucky's is three hours away. So if we happen to go to Bucky's, it's like a treat. We get their beef it jerky. Is. Uh, so I was like, get their beef jerky and also get their brisket. I prefer the the sliced brisket over the shredded biscuit. The brisket, the shredded brisket, they're adding a lot of sauce, which you know has a bunch of sugar. 
but the sliced brisket is really, really good. So he messages me about an hour and a half later. He's like, it was crazy in there. I'm like, it's always crazy in there. Yeah, we had another friend, Melissa, that recently went on a trip and we were like, stop at Bucky's. And the next time I saw her, she was head to toe Bucky's. Like every single thing, her hat, her shirt, her pants, her socks, like everything was Bucky's. Have you ever been to Bucky's? It, the only way to explain Bucky's is it is a gas station that doesn't allow truckers. A gas Weird. station with an incredible food court and Cracker Barrel. Yeah. All combined into one in the size of a Walmart. I feel, right is I, that a is that an accurate description? If you've ever been there, I usually describe it is is Kirkland's and Salt Life had a baby <laughs> in the gas station. That's how I describe it. it. It's just it's it's a cool place to visit. Like every time we go there, we're there for like an hour and a half. So now whenever we're on a trip and we know we're gonna pass a Bucky's. We have to basically say, this Budget trip is going to take an extra two hours. When, when we went to Kentucky, we stopped at two Bucky's each yeah. way. Oh, thank you very much. So, yeah. So, I don't know what we're going to do for food. I've really been hankering to try the custard, our keto chow custard. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll leave a link for that recipe up here. It's really good. And... When you make it, you really need to do it in a water bath. Are you going to try to do it in the so, Anova? I'm thinking about trying it in the Anova oven because I can cook it 100% steam, which means I shouldn't need the water bath. And you also, if I'm figuring right, won't get that skin across the top, which you actually like I that actually skin, like but the, most the people pudding don't. skin. Yeah, you don't really like that yeah. skin. Or you do like it. I'm I not do. a big fan of that skin. We've also been messing around in the Innova Precision Oven with the Maria Emmerich bread, and I've tried it several different ways of um, cooking in humidity in there. So, you know, if you would normally use it for a traditional bread, you can use that to proof your yeast, and then you would cook it with, a cr with the humidity on, and then the last 10 minutes you turn the humidity off to get a crust. Well, I've been kind of going the opposite, to not get that dry styrofoamy crust. Right. And it's working. But I'm messing with different temperatures and settings to see where is the best setting. Well, I don't want to rush you, but it is oh. past 9.30. Well, you want to open gifts then. And we need to do keto. Oh, couch. coffee? Do you, uh, we have one Aww. egg a piece. And then on top of that, we have one scoop of pumpkin spice keto chow split between the two of us. So no butter today. Oh my gosh, you are in so much trouble. Why? Because this is nowhere near $5. Yeah, but you're worth it. Oh my gosh. And, and say, so here's and the thing. And it's green. The advent calendar was an excuse for me to give you a bunch of Christmas presents before Christmas without getting yelled at. <laughs> Because every that is year awesome. I go find Rachel a bunch of Christmas presents and then I get so excited to you give it to her. You have to give them away. I don't want to wait until Christmas. So this like gave you the excuse. Now you do These have are so pretty. You do have at least three Christmas presents coming to you. That I don't know. That you have no idea. And there's a reason I'm not telling you. And that is, there is a possibility you may divorce me after I give them to you. I am, so, you keep saying that. <laughs> you have me so worried. It's you know? building anticipation. Now open my stinky gift because you got me an awesome gift. This is not a stinky gift. I love this. Did I do good? I Well, I love oven mitts. You know why? Because oven mitts are, again, one of those things that end up in the sink, right? For some reason, my children think like, oh, there's some stuff in there. Let me just throw it in the sink instead of trying to like wash it off. And so they get ruined. And I love oven mitts. I have a whole collection of them. Kayla keeps piling them on top of the air fryer, which I know you're not supposed to do. But right. we do it anyway. I, I like the silicone ones. My new favorite thing is the heat ones. Those are really that nice. I use for my barbecuing. I actually sent them to Chris, who was my, my Elfster person. Because they go up to like 1,400 degrees. These do not. No, these do not. <laughs> but you can literally grab like hot coals with those gloves and you don't feel it all. You don't burn your hand. They don't melt. But they got silicone nubs on it so you can grab your brisket and stuff. But these are nice because you know why these are nice? Because they are cloth. You can wash them. 
but I like the silicone inside. They got the grippy. Because a lot of times you get these oven mitts and you still feel the heat. Like you, have you ever burnt your hand even though you're wearing oven yes. mitts? Yes. Yeah. So, so I like it these. says mistletoe kisses. Christmas wishes. You know what these are really good for? Because they're not long. So I right. wouldn't, you don't want to necessarily Link put these in a long, uh, long oven or in the barbecue. You know what these are really good for? Working with cast iron. Yes. Because you know how many times you don't think. Yeah. And you're like, I'm just going to grab, grab my handle. I grab my cast iron and it's like, oh, that's a little hot. Yeah. Everything gets hot on those. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to go do keto on the couch. We're going to attempt to do some vlogging today. We will try. If we can remember to turn on the camera. And uh, we'll let you know how the day is going throughout the day. I am so excited. I'm about to go meet up with Roshana for lunch. It's about 12 o'clock. We are going to Brio Tuscan Grill, which I've never been to before, but she says this is a great place. I am over by the Broward Mall, which I have not been to in a minute. So I'm super excited. We get to have some lunch and then I get to get some shopping done for my Christmas list. Oh my gracious, I found my shoe section. Look at these fun shoes. This is the funnest. Look at this, oh my gosh. So stinking cute. Adorable nativity alert. Look how cute this nativity is. It's so pretty. I love it. Since Rachel's not home, I'm gonna try to work on this room. I'd like to get it finished up by the end of the week. All I need to do is like sand down some of these areas where you have the joint compound. Then we're gonna paint it, hang up the sound panels. The only other thing we need to do is you can see over there, I'm going to get a granite guy to put a piece of granite on the windowsill and then that's going to be like a cubby hole to hold like cords, extra things like that that go with the studio. I went to the Broward Mall, which is near where we were eating, and I thought, okay, this is it. I'm going to find all of my Christmas presents here because this is the mall I never get to go to. And yeah, no, it had nothing, nothing new. A lot of corduroy is apparently coming back in fashion, which I don't think that the kids will wear. So, um, while I'm over here, I'm going to go into a gigantic Walmart. I'm hoping that even if I can't get a bunch of Christmas presents taken care of, I can pick up some pretty paper plates that we could use on Christmas. So yeah, let's go check out the Walmart. Look at the size of this thing. It is like a college campus. This is the hugest super Walmart I think I've ever seen. It has been a long day. I have not eaten anything. I had well, a I shouldn't say that. I had my coffee this morning. Yes. Which was one egg and a half a scoop of keto chow. That's all I've eaten because I've been so busy working and making a mess here in the studio. But I cleaned most of my mess. You're getting very close to almost clean. So, well, I, I ran out of time. I went up until about 10 minutes ago, but I finished doing all the sanding. I prepared the thing over there for the granite. I started painting. And now we can be like the NBC Today show <laughs> and have an audience. Life because is going on outside of our, our window. I pulled down the blanket that's been acting as like a blind. And now I can't find the blinds that actually go there. But I don't want to staple the, the paper or the, the blanket back up because I just started painting up there. I had some carnivore crisps on top of um, lunch uh -huh. with the lovely Roshana. I had such a great time. I can't wait to fill you in. It was so much fun. I'm like ecstatic that I have a keto friend that lives within 30 minutes of my house. Well, we have to go do the 12 days of keto live stream. And I've got a couple of hamburgers cooking in the sous vide so that as soon as mm. we're done, I can kind of grill them up because- We should probably put curtains up before we eat. They were frozen. And like, if I put them in there, they'll cook while we're going without overcooking.
doesn't match at all. Like even remotely. But that's all right, I'm packing. It's dinner time. We just finished the 12 days of keto. Day five. It's so fun. This is really, I don't want to say it's, it's not my first meal because I've had two cups of coffee, each with some butter and a half a scoop of keto chow. But it's my first like full, full meal. So we've got a little bit of the broccoli salad. That video is coming soon. A couple slices of bacon. One hamburger, and what I did was I put it in the sous vide mm. while we were doing the uh, day five of the 12 days of Perfect. keto because it was frozen. So I just stuck it in the sous vide, let it go the entire time at 125 degrees, and then when we were done, turned on the Blackstone and just browned it up and- It's it, just right. You can actually see, I'll cut it in half and hold it up. It's perfect. It's medium, medium rare all the way through. And then I'm also having a piece of frying cheese. Yum. Want a bite? No, I don't, because I think I have enough cheese in my broccoli. Because mm -hmm. tomorrow we're going to Universal Studios and I want to make sure that I'm at my best. Right. To enjoy the day with John Paul and Michelle. Earlier today, in, in in addition to the coffee that I also had, mm -hmm. um, I had a salmon filet that was perfectly cooked on top of a bed of uh, salad greens for lunch. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't finish my salad. I ate the salmon, but I am no longer on cleanup crew. If I don't want to finish all of the lettuce and tomato, I just don't anymore. That's good. That's what we're doing. In the past, I'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, this is 25 cents and this is 25 cents. So like if I paid for the salad, I need to eat all of this salad. Not if I don't want it. Right. Yeah. I good. like that. Did you have a good time at lunch? So we totally hit it off so well. I'm so, so thankful. And I said that on the live stream. I'm so thankful for these keto meetups because if you are open to it, you don't just get the fun of the event. We had fun in Las Vegas, but right. Las Vegas, we're home now. Right. But the fun continues because if you will just trade numbers, she was one person that I found out that lived in the same state as me. Right. And then we found out that, you know, it wasn't a case of one of us lived in Gainesville and one of us lived in Miami. Because a lot of times you're like, oh, you're from Florida? We're in Florida. No, she lives like two towns over. She just lives two towns over. So we swapped phone numbers and then when, you know, the holidays are hectic, but we made it work. We found a day that worked good for both of our schedules. And now we're friends. And now I can no longer say that I don't have anybody that I could go to lunch with that is keto just like me. Maybe right. in the past I couldn't. But once you make a friend, then your whole situation changes. So now me and Rashana can go out anytime we want. And I'm so tickled because we got to just talk and chat. And I, I just, I loved her. Well, I won't make it weird though. I, well, I'm glad. Now... People are always commenting, Joe doesn't ever get to eat a hot meal. So I'm eating a hot meal. Good. And I'm going to let you have a cold meal because okay. I have a present for you. I'll have a cold meal. I, I ordered this for you without you knowing. Uh-oh. But I knew you were going to like it. Well, anything Scentsy, I usually get it pretty excited about. And I'm going to keep eating. I'm not even going to say what I'm hoping that this is because what I was hoping for was a little pricey. So Can I have the paper towels? Yes, you can. Aw, Caleb is laughing with his friends. You can probably hear him cackling. Not as loud as he cackled with Nanny at the camp no. site. I've never in 15 years seen him laugh like that. Well, I mean, I've heard him laugh. he That is his laugh. Mm -hmm. But he... But not that loud and that long. It hit him so hard. Oh, oh, it's a warmer because it's big. <gasps> oh, wait. Look at this. Cookies for Santa. What were these? Oh my gosh, that smells oh, good. These are extra bulbs. They ordered us extra bulbs. Oh, thank bulbs you. Because my bulbs are I out. burnt my bulbs out. I love this smell. The Mandalorian. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Oh, we got a couple of those. Mm -hmm. Mandalorian. Oh, these are all Star Wars flavors. I didn't have this. This is the dark side. Mm -hmm. Let me smell it. Oh, smell it. Merry Sithmas. Oh, that smells good. That smells really I'm good. I'm going these for the cookies for Santa. Oh my gosh, that's... They totally nailed that. Wow, that's this, good. This, I want to say, what do you what do you think this... It's 
got a little bit of a spice to it's it. It's like a spice but some citrus in there. Yeah. That smells really what good. Else? Oh, I got you another one. So that's the that's the dark side and we also have the light side. I got you two of those. Oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah, I think I got you two of each one. You're going to like this one the best because it reminds me of like the Mickey one. Mm. Now it's... they say mix them. If okay. you mix them, it'll give you a different oh, scent. You have a little bit of okay. bacon. Thank you. This is awesome. Yep. These are for me. These are for my car. The car. Yeah, and I'm swiping before somebody else does. Because I, yeah, because everybody in here. So loves these it. things are really, really good. They're super powerful and last a long time in the car. What? Oh my gosh, Joe! Merry Christmas. This is a present that you should have wrapped and put under the tree. It's no fun that way. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I did not even mention that I like this because I was afraid you would purchase it. We're a Star Wars fan. We're a huge Star Wars family. We actually were just re-watching the, the, th the last three. Mm -hmm. How sweet is this? Oh my gosh. It's baby Grogu. Well, he's not really a baby baby, right? Oh my gosh, like how cute is this? It's baby Grogu. He's cool looking. He is very cool. And look, the Mandalorian is in there. He's still, he's watching him. That is so stinking cute. I like that one. I don't know what smell. I guess you need to start off with this in there. No, I want to do one of the new ones. Mm. I want to do one of these. This smells really good though. Yeah. I really like the Mandalorian I know. smell. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well. Super cute. We're going to finish. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I have a kiss? Yes. We're going to finish eating. Because I still have to hang or find something to hang in the front window. Yeah, so we don't just like have an open window. Yeah, and then uh, I got to pack. I haven't put anything together. And I got to make sure that I don't forget my computer. Because we have to live stream from the hotel tomorrow. So that should be an interesting thing. We have gone on trips before and left things. I I absolutely have. And uh, we're going to be leaving here probably, I, I'm, I'm planning somewhere around 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning. I don't even know what time the park's opening. I got to look. The hardest part of tonight will be attempting to go to sleep. Yeah, I don't normally sleep well. Like I get I'm excited. Going away the next day. So. That's going to be our vlog for today. A little bit of a shorter one for us anyway. Uh, but yeah, we just had a lot going on. I'm, I'm I'm this close to being done with the studio. We're on the painting phase. The only thing that I won't I'm be able to get done, you. it will be done by the end of the week. Uh, the only thing I won't be able to get done is the granite. We have to call our friend who's a granite guy because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go find whatever remnant piece of granite there is. It's my I favorite don't color. care what color it is. My favorite color is sail. Sail. <laughs> It, 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 hey, listen, we painted all the walls grays, so... It, anything it, will work. Anything should work pretty well, unless we buy a brown. Uh, but, yeah, we're going we're gonna to put a piece of granite there, and then I'm going to cut a hole in the front of that for, There's like, storage. But I don't need to do that right now. No. Like, I can do that after... Like, I'll do that. Like, let's get the whole room painted, get everything back together, get the sound panels up... Then I'll cut the hole before he actually does the granite so that I know exactly where I want to put the hole. But it's nice. I don't know if you looked in there. I vacuumed it all out. I got rid of all the dust. Very proud of you. Well, thank you very much. Way to so go. We're going to close out this vlog right here. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we get this close to finishing a project, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.